Yo, what is good everybody? It's your boy, The Strongest Wizard, and tonight is indeed fight night, and this is our first recorded OPO5 match with myself on the left-hand side, rocking out that Sakazuki, and we got my boy Endeavor with that Pluffy. Uh, now, I do... I am going to let you guys know really quickly, I am going to take this match a bit slower than normal just because there's a lot of new effects and a lot of new abilities and I want to make sure I get through them accurately and correctly. Uh, so if you don't know exactly what Sakazuki does, uh, main once per turn, uh, I can pitch one card to draw one card and then when attacking I minus one cost to one of my opponent's characters. And if you don't know what, what this purple Luffy does, it's a five uh, life purple leader. Um, activate main once per turn. You may add one card from the top of your life uh, to your hand. If you have zero uh, or three or more Dawn on your field, uh, you ramp one Dawn instead of as active. So really, really good here. Um, and so I'm going to start us off here with that brand new uh, grabbing. Actually, that brand new, uh, <laughs> no pun intended, that brand new Hound Blaze uh, event card, which is a Navy card and passing turn. So we got my boy Endeavor here, of course, with his four Dawn turn now turn two and we're actually using leader ability here to grab our life and then ramp one dawn so we're gonna see a 5k swing going into life i'm gonna counter out it with that tashigi and it looks like he's probably going to tap a few dawn here to play most likely a character um and shout out to those winner tashigis those things are fire uh absolutely love those cards uh, <laughs> uh and i'm just really glad that we can use them so here we see the magellan this is not a strange uh or old or new card here. This card has been around for a while now. Minus one down for both of ourselves. Uh, so I'm gonna swing 5k into life here. Minusing one cost to the character, making it a four cost. He's gonna counter out of it with the page one. I'm gonna go ahead and use that eruption to minus two cost to the character and draw one card. And then we're gonna see the Hound Blaze here. Hound Blaze is a brand new blue event card. Uh, up to one of my leaders or characters gains plus 3k for the turn. And then I place one card, uh, one character with a cost of two or less to the bottom of the deck so i'm gonna go ahead and bottom deck that magellan which is disgusting and then swinging 6k with the brand new and my boy endeavor is already at three life uh so we're gonna see a 6k swing going into the actual brand new and we're gonna see that brand new captain kid blocker here uh, essentially what it is it's once per turn uh he's a 6k blocker he's a 5-6 and then uh when on your turn um a dawn is minus you actually get to ramp one dawn so it's really really good uh so for example if that character's on board and you Magellan, uh, you don't actually neg negate any Dawn at all. <laughs> uh, it's actually pretty insane. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and swing 7k into lead here, and I'm going to minus one here. And he's going to block it, uh, and we're gonna probably going to see a 2k counter. Yes, 2k counter to pitch it. And we're going to see the familiar face here, Kuzon, uh, the 4-cost Kuzon, using leader ability here to draw one, trashing that Borsalino. Um... Honestly, guys, this Sakazuki deck is uh, Galaxy Brain. Uh, my my boy Endeavor was saying that you need a PhD in order to run this deck because uh, it's actually super crazy big brain. Um, but I obviously think that we're brand new to the decks, um, so we're still playing, we're still practicing. So obviously, it's gonna take us some time to adjust uh, with these uh, with these decks. So. We're gonna see a uh, tapping five here, actually for the poly. Uh, he's actually gonna pop the Kuzon and then ramp one by a uh, tapping two here. So we're gonna see a seven K swing going into life. I'm gonna go ahead and take it and he's gonna pass turn, uh, leaving that kid active. Uh, I kind of feel like he probably should have attacked with the kid, uh, but I guess he doesn't wanna like waste that ability. I kind of get it, but I think he definitely should have gone aggressive here. So we're gonna use a uh, leader ability here to minus one cost to one of these characters. Uh, deciding the route here, and I think, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do the, the kit here. Yeah, I'm gonna make the kit here a four cost, uh, and I'm swinging 6k into life. Uh, and like I said, this blocker is 6k, so he's gonna go ahead and counter out of it with a 2k, and I'm gonna go ahead and play Borsalino uh, to bottom deck that character. And Borsalino, if you don't know, it's a brand new card, uh, you, and you put just, it's a seven cost on play, bottom deck a four cost. Uh, and we did see that Sakazuki come. Sakazuki main ability coming out where I draw one trash one as well. So we're gonna see a 7k swing with that, uh, with your boy right there, um, with the uh, poly here. Um, and I'm debating here if I want to counter out of it. And I'm very very scared because he's at nine dawn now. So if I take this life now, he taps nine. He throws the nine cost Kaido out. I'm not gonna counter out of 10k. So <laughs> so he would just. Uh, 
put me down to one already. So I end up taking it here, uh, and we are gonna see actually the kid coming out uh, minus a one dawn to uh, give this Luffy here plus one K, and we're gonna see a nine K swing. I'm gonna counter out of it with two two Ks and passing turn. So actually, uh, kind of a godsend. I really did not want to see that nine cost Kaido coming down. Uh, the seven cost is actually a lot better for myself because it's a little bit easier for me to remove. The question is, how can I remove this character? Obviously, everything is a is problem solving with this deck. So, how can what what can I do and what combinations to reduce the cost of his characters to then a bottom deck or uh, remove them? So, let's see if I can do this here. Now, Endeavor only does have four life, uh, which is pretty low, honestly. Uh, I'm sorry, not four life, four cards in his hand. Uh, that's just it's pretty pretty low. So let's see here what I can do uh, to make it happen here So I'm gonna go to swing 8k into the 6k poly and it does go down I wanted to test the water see if I can get another card out of his hand or possibly well obviously two cards out of his hand uh, But we're gonna swing um, it looks like I'm debating whether I want to swing 6k or not uh, I'm trying to plan out the rest of my turn to see if it's possible if I can swing 6 or 7k uh, But I'm gonna go ahead and swing 6k into life uh, since this Luffy is at 6k because of that uh, that kid uh, And I'm gonna make this kid a six cost uh, Minus a one cost and then I'm gonna go ahead and play the Dashigi tapping three using the ability to minus an additional two cost Making it a, a four cost now um, And I'm gonna go ahead and play the eruption card to minus another two to draw a card now. It's at two uh, now it's at two costs, and I'm gonna go ahead and play the brand new Rob Lee Tree card. Uh, four costs. I bottom deck three cards from my trash, and I get to pop a, a two cost as well as a one cost. This card is absolutely broken. Uh, I don't. <laughs> this card is so so good in this deck. Uh, I definitely need to get my all arts for this card as soon as it comes out because it's so good. Uh, very very excited. Um, Luigi game forever. Uh, so now we see a another kid coming down <clears throat> now. We know what this card does uh, you get to um, well, I mentioned it before and now we see the Magellan happen happening and look we saw that happening right now the Magellan tucked in uh, Kid ability uh, it was able to ramp it uh, for free and uh, and yeah, we saw the 6k going to the Shigi and then passing turn so now I have myself in my at two life here. Uh, I'm debating here how to get rid of this board. I don't. Initially, I was thinking to myself, I need to get rid of the Magellan, but I don't need. I don't care about the Magellan anymore. Now I want to get rid of this kid. I want to get rid of this kid and then apply pressure. I have an 8k as well as a 6k body on board, so it's looking really good for me right now. Um, but uh, with Luffy, you know, the tides can turn at any point. So uh, we're going to swing 7k into life here. Minus the one cost on actually the kid here. And like I did mention before, I wasn't too sure in the beginning. But obviously, it makes sense now. Uh, so now I'm swinging 7 into his leader. Um, and he does end up taking it. And I'm going to go ahead and play the Sura here to minus two cost to make him a two cost. And then I'm going to play that uh, that Hound Blaze to bottom deck it. Giving Rob Lucci plus three. K. Okay, so we're gonna see a 9k swing here going into life and he's gonna go actually use the Gatling and then another counter and we're gonna see a 9k swing going into life and, uh, and I'm gonna pass it with the Borsalino now the reason why I played out the Borsalino um, is just because in case he 9 costs Kaido's me he can't wipe my board um, Essentially, he pretty much could if he had uh, the Nightcross Kaido. But now it's just like looking super gravy for me because that Borsalino is no way dying at all this turn. Uh, since Borsalino can be removed by effects, I can't really be afraid of anything to uh, to remove it, right? So uh, let's see here how Endeavor wants to figure this out. He's going to swing 6k into 6k. I'm actually going to let it go through. I don't have too many cards to counter out of that I want to toss. So we're going to see a 6k swing going into life. I'm going to take it here. Uh, he's going to tap actually 5 for that queen, minusing 1 dawn to draw 2 cards, trash 1. Uh, one being that nine cost that nine cost Kaido, and then we're gonna see the law coming down. He's just essentially for now. He's just a five k blocker. Um, but let's see here. How can I get through two swings, two of these blockers, and go for game here? Um, and honestly, in my head, I'm so excited because I figured it out. So we're gonna go use that Hina to minus four cost on the queen. That card is absolutely broken. And we're gonna do another one on the other uh, law, and we're gonna tap five. Four here for that Luchi to pop both of them, uh, <laughs> which is absolutely disgusting. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and swing a uh, uh, 5k into lead. Um, 
and he's gonna counter out of it. We're gonna sing a 5k into Lee Gatling, and then there's an 8k swing for game. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video as well as this uh, channel, and stay tuned because I have a ton of new OPO5 content coming out soon. See ya!